In this video, I will discuss how to import DXF files directly into SAP 2000. A DXF file with a DXF extension containing graphics data saved in the AutoCAD drawing exchange format. This type of file can be read by many graphics programs and is commonly used to exchange data between these programs. DXF file import feature can import model geometry from all versions of AutoCAD up to AutoCAD 2023 and from most other programs capable of writing DXF files. Let's open up SAP 2000. Under the file menu, we'll go to import AutoCAD DXF file. We'll select the DXF file. Next, under import information, choose the access corresponding to the global up direction in the DXF file. Specify the units the DXF file is written in and click the OK button. Here, the DXF import form is displayed. It features five instances of the list of layers defined in the DXF file with checkbox next to each of the different layers. Above each list is a label describing the corresponding type of SAP2000 objects to import. Here are the following types of DXF objects that are imported into SAP2000. So you need to ensure that the DXF file contains layers that are specific to how this is laid out. So for instance, you want a layer with points, a separate layer for lines, polylines, arcs, and circles, a separate layer for points and perhaps lines, and uh, the same for shells and solids. So under the Assign Layers form, now SAP2000 allows multiple drawing layers to be selected for each object type. So let's go ahead and select a few layers for uh, special joints, frames, there's no links in this model, but there are quite a few shells. Now you can see that the model has been imported with the extents of the area object shown. The locations of the specific columns have now been imported as well as the shaft openings. One thing to note, only geometry is going to be imported into SAP2000 when you are using these DXF files. So no loading, no assignments, just physical geometry. Also, if you select the same layers to import for SAP2000 frames and links, the AutoCAD lines on that layer will all be imported as frame objects. If you select the same layer for both SAP2000 frames and solids, the polylines on that layer will be imported as a series of frame objects. So a couple important points to remember. Thank you.